And here we are in the last question of part one it is to write the repeating decimals as fractions. And there couldn't be any other easier topic for this to finally end the part one. It's the MCQ part. You will have four options. So all you need to do is use your calculator here. There is such an easy trick to solve all these problems that is 0 0.321. Write it as it is. Now, wherever you can see the line, that is the repeating part. That means this number is going to be 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, and so on. It keeps on repeating. So if you write some considerable amount of digits, you will directly get the answer as a fraction. You can see that's the answer. Same thing here, 0 0.145445. Write about a few pairs of it. And it's still not there, but just a few more. And here you go, that's the answer. Another way to solve it is you will have all the answers, right? Four options. Just solve them up, 24 divided by 11. That will give you this one, 2.181818. Ignore the last digit just until last bar one. Now here, this is the way to check, but you need to do for all the four options and check with the question. Only one matches and that's your final answer. So now let's do, do the others. It's 4.96. The easier way would be just writing it, uh, you know, a few pages and then, okay, if it's not showing up, write a few more and it'll show up once. So that is the answer here. Now, another uh, important thing to remember is to repeat only the ones which have line. So if you repeat all these digits, then that's the wrong answer. So please make sure about that. And now press equal to, that is the answer. And lastly over here, 0 0.4336. So it's 336 and only 36 has been repeated. And that would be the answer of 477. Uh, divided by 1100. So that's how easily you can solve all these problems. And that is the end of part one. Finally, we have finished all the questions. I wish you all the very best for your exams. Please do study well. Don't keep it at the last minute. Try to revise as early as possible. If you have any doubts, please do post them in the comments and I'll try to get back to you very soon. You can find all the explanation videos of part one questions and part two questions in my channel. I just want to thank each and every one of you for supporting my channel, for subscribing to my channel, for sharing my videos with your friends. I really appreciate it so much. I'm so grateful to all of you guys for all the support, for all the love. I just want to wish you all the very best. I hope everyone gets great marks in their exams. I wish you good luck and take care.